Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I'm Brugly, and in this video, I'm gonna be bringing you part two of the Friendly Backrooms Creatures series. Now part one will be down below in the description if you wanna go check it out. It's still blowing up low key. And a ton of you have been asking for the second part, uh, so here we go. Sit back, relax, grab a snack, and enjoy hearing about some more Backrooms creatures that do not want to rip your head off. Let's get it! Also, did you guys see the brand new channel icon and banner? I mean, wow. Huge thank you to Karen Star from over on the Discord server for drawing it. I mean, it looks awesome, bro. Let me know what you think down below. Alright, let's get into it. So first up for the video, I want to talk about an enigmatic entity called the Red Knight, which I believe is the first enigmatic entity that I'm going over on the channel, maybe? This entity can be seen all over the back rooms, and I'll explain what that means in a second. The Red Knight has been seen by a lot of people, and is actually pretty legendary in the lore and stories about the back rooms. Now the entity looks like a knight, and is wearing armor that looks like it's from somewhere around the 16th century. He has a big broadsword that he wears on his shoulder, and a shield that he carries in his other hand. He also has a cape, which is always cool, and it's a red cape with gold trim. His armor and weaponry are in good condition for the most part, but some of the pieces have dents in them, especially on his chest plate, and his cape is a tad bit torn on the very end. Other than that, he's vibing. The Red Knight is known far and wide throughout the backrooms as a famed entity slayer, with inhuman strength, speed, and agility, and it's said that he can cut any monster in half with one single swipe from his sword. Pretty Sigma, if you ask me. But the good news is for us normal people, the Red Knight, quote, doesn't try to eat your face the moment he sees you. And he always somehow appears to people when they first noclip into the back rooms and run into their first really dangerous situation. But he really tends to only do this to people who are fairly new. So if you've been in the back rooms for a couple years, he's probably not going to help you unless you really, really need it. The knight barely talks to people, but when he does, it's mainly right after he just saved them and he's instructing them on what to do or how to get to the next safe space where there's humans. After he explains this stuff to you, he will then grab out his sword and cut open the space-time continuum itself just in the air and it will form a portal to a level that's safe. Could it be any cooler? Like, a knight opening a portal with a sword. Wow. The Red Knight is listed as a superhuman in its description because of how strong he is, and he's been seen fighting creatures way bigger or way more powerful, or he's been outnumbered, and he still wins. He can get injured though, because he's been seen limping away from fights with broken bones, but he's never actually lost a fight with anything, so he might be invincible, we don't know. Either way, a red knight with a cape and a magic sword that can open portals, must I say anything else? And the fact that he tries to help as many people as he possibly can makes it even better. Next up is an entity called King Rasputin Bartholomew III. Yes, that is his name, and yes, he looks like that. Rasputin is listed as Entity 84 and looks like a huge chow chow dog that's really hairy and wanderers over a ton of different levels have claimed to see him. Now this entity isn't just your normal dog because his fur has a bunch of weird anomalies that happen with it and it's not just normal dog fur. Specifically weird things happen if you touch it. For example, one person touched his fur and fell into level 241 through the ceiling. So, the dog has a red collar that somehow doesn't no clip into it like every other object does that touches it. Instead, it just stays there and it has on the front his name, Rasputin Bartholomew III, and then on the other side, it says, quote, if lost, return to the seventh dialect of the March of the Atrodium, the killer of Jungum, which no one knows what that means or why it's there. It's weird. I don't know why it'd be on a collar, but it's there. The good news is, that he's friendly, and he acts very similarly to dogs from real life. He'll follow you around if he wants to, and he seems impervious to other entities because none of them even try to attack him, in fact they all run away. 
And there's even been a Meg report that he's barked and growled to scare away some entities, thereby saving a person that he had bonded with. So if you form a bond with him, then he'll protect you. It's presumed that entities are just afraid to attack him for some reason because he's not that big, but they all run away. His biology is interesting because, like I said, he's a breed called Chow Chow, and apparently he's around four years old, but his hair is the weirdest thing about him because Meg cut off five inches of it and it all grew back within an hour. He also doesn't eat food or drink water on his own, but he'll eat something if you give it to him. And if you pet him, you'll see that the fur doesn't actually connect to a body. Like you won't be able to feel a solid body. It just feels like floating fur. And if you reach a few feet into the fur, then you'll be sucked into and dropped into level 241. So King Rasputin Bartholomew III is an invincible dog with magic fur that can teleport you to level 241 just by petting him. And he's protective over people that are nice to him. Pretty cool. Now the last friendly entity for this video is the musician entity, or entity 137. This thing mainly lives on level 114, but has been seen on a bunch of other levels as well. It looks like a tall skinny creature that is wearing a pinstripe suit and a big top hat, and you'll know he's close to you when you hear music playing, and this music actually has some cool properties. Like if he walks through a dangerous area with dangerous entities, the music itself will make those entities passive when they're in his presence. He also has the ability to no clip anywhere he wants to and can go to any level at all. And as far as his behavior, he's actually friendly and he's very helpful to wanderers that he meets. And he offers almond water to everyone he meets. So it's pretty wholesome. He's very good at social skills and he likes to talk and walk with wanderers and he likes to converse about anything, but especially music. Except for some reason, he hates Entity 138 so like, don't bring that up, no one knows why. He's also aware that how he looks might scare some wanderers, so if he notices that it scares someone, he apologizes and walks away. If for some reason he gets attacked, then that music that he emits from earlier will go from being quiet to extremely loud and will burst the eardrums of anything nearby. And if he doesn't do that attack, then apparently both of his hands will transform into massive claw hooks to attack his enemy in a more physical way. Also, if he makes a mess of an entity that he attacks, he openly complains about ruining his suit, which I find hilarious, by the way. He's anywhere from 6'5 to 6'10 and is really skinny, and he's seemingly impervious to any fatal attack from entities. That's pretty neat. So yeah, those are three friendly Backrooms creatures. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching till the end. I appreciate it as always. Channel's going crazy right now and I really appreciate you all. We're on the road to 500K. Wow, I, wow, I just, thank you. Very happy how this channel's going. I love it. Thank you all so much. If you wanna be a part of the journey, drop a sub. And also, if you wanna help my second channel get to 50K by the end of the year, go sub to it. We just hit 12.3K on only 12 videos. So I think we're well on the way. Over there, I'm uploading a banger story times Minecraft videos tier list. And overall, it's a fun time. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for the support. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. Brutally out.